Good evening, everyone. This is Andra, the Traveling and Saving Chief, and I am back from my trip. I got to work early this morning and worked all day. So I drove all night, worked all day, and I am tired. But I wanted to do my close out for the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, oh my gosh, there's so many of you that are helping me with my watch hours. I am almost there. I um, got my 100, 100. <laughs> I did get my 1,000 subscribers on last Sunday, the same day I completed the half marathon. And um, people are pitching in and helping with my watch hours. And I appreciate you guys so much. So um, hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll be able to finish the monetization process. So I appreciate all of you so much. All right, this is going to be, I don't even know if this is going to be a quick or a long video. I don't know how much money I have saved, but I will talk through it. I have my challenges. I kept this one here. I'm doing shorts with this one, but I only have two more spots. So I'm going to finish this before the month is out as well. So we're going to include this $65 section. I'll just put it on the calculator now so I don't forget. And I'll just set it over here to the side, even though it's technically not finished yet. Um, because I was gone, I didn't finish the shorts. So it would have been done had I been here. So here are all of my completed challenges uh, in the month of May. So I do have quite a bit on oh, my paper clip came off. So let's actually, actually I'll leave them here and then I'll take them off as we go. Okay, so this is our winter owl. So this one, I had a whole snafu in that video. So it was actually semi entertaining. So. <laughs> If you go check out my last owl savings video, you'll see that shenanigan. But anyway, let's add $100. I think I put the money in there. Just make sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 90, 5, 100. Yep. I made that right after I goofed it up in the video. Okay, so we're at 165. That is the winter owl. And I will put that to the side. You guys, I did... Um, show you a little bit of my tattoo it's all peely now so it looks kind of gross but um my lovebirds and some of my flowers are colored in now but we couldn't finish it because we had dinner plans my girlfriends and I so I had to tell um, my artist and actually it was like you know like burning and painful by this point I sat there for three hours and I was just like I wanted to let her finish the last couple of flowers these hydrangeas that I have but I was kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm kind of ready. So I, um, well, I'll talk to the tattoo money part here in a moment. But yeah, I was kind of good with being done. So this is our Avogordo. We save $50. 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 50. 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 50. 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 50. Yeah. So my trip was amazing. I did get to keep the money organized. I did get to see my girlfriends and my family and I got to keep my youngest Dominic I'll insert a picture um, or two or three but um, <laughs> I got to keep him all day on Sunday and it was so nice to spend some time with him okay 165 but I did not add the 50 wait we were at 165 165 plus 50 equals okay Okay, this one is a $70 challenge. 10, 20, 30, 45, 50, 5, 65, 70. I'm going to take this prop bill out. So we're actually going to only add 60 because that is how much actual money that we have. Oh, I better make sure none of these fives were prop. Okay, those are all real. But yeah, I had my little guy. Um, he's grown some, you guys. Like, he was like a little heavier. Now I haven't seen him since I think it was November on um, the last time I saw my youngest. But yeah, he's um, put on some weight. So yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't walk on his own. So, you know, it just means you have to really be careful how you lift him and help him transfer because you will definitely throw your back out. Okay, this challenge was, oh, I still have this one in my binder. That's why I put a sticky note. So this was the Air Force challenge by budgeting by Dina US. And we saved... 
$40 for that one. Uh, plus 40. Did I add? I did. Okay, wait, what was this five sitting here for? Oh, maybe it was 45. Let's add the five dollars. All right, we're at 260. Then we had our walk and save challenge. This was from Saving with Alicia. And a bunch of us were doing that one. So I saved 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. Some of these ones are gross. Okay, so put that there. What did I say? 33. Let's save 33 on that one plus 33. Okay, this one was the um, busted game. And oh, yeah, I got to make sure I do that. I wrote myself a note so I wouldn't forget. So actually, let me get some sort quick because I didn't put any on. And some of these bills are really nice and new and they're sticking to one another so how are you guys doing what did you guys do for memorial day i was trying to keep up with some of the videos 20 40 guys these are so new 20 40 60 80 91 10 120 125, 130, 135. Okay, so plus 135. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I always help I always hope you have a good weekend. Um, but hopefully you remembered someone that gave their life for this country. That's why we celebrate Memorial Day or we remember on Memorial Day. Okay, this one should be i don't think it's 120 i think i had some prop money in there let's see what we have 20 40 60 80 90 5 100 105 16 107 108 109 110 yeah i thought so okay so 110 so i was driving back like i said i drove all night I was at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio yesterday, and I got on the road at about, I don't know, 6.30 p.m., and it was only supposed to take me like a little less than seven hours. Well, I knew that I was going to have to sleep. Oh, okay. So this, I think I had 110 in this one as well. Plus 110. We're going to add it in, and then I'm going to subtract it, and I will tell you why in a minute. But yeah, I was in... At Cedar Point, I left there about 6, 15, 6 30, and I got on the road, but I knew I was going to have to sleep because I knew I'd be tired because it was like, you know, I was going all day, riding rides, having a great time. It was so much fun. I met one of my friends there. We had a great time. And I took a nap in like two spots, but the second nap, um, <laughs> I was in the truck stop in Breezewood, Pennsylvania. And some of you may know what I'm talking about. It's like at the end of the one, one of the stops on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'm going into Maryland and um, I'm just writing myself a note so I don't forget you guys. And my car wouldn't start when I woke up. So when I woke up, I would have had plenty of time to get to work. And I, um, because my car wouldn't start, I called for roadside help and they were like, well, it was like five o'clock in the morning. They were like, well, we can't get anybody to you till eight o'clock. So I go into the trucker area and they came and helped me um, jump the car and then I was fine. So, I mean, I lost an hour and I did hit some more traffic in Maryland, but all in all, I still got, you know, still got back safely and it was just, um, you know, a little bump in the road. <laughs> Get it? Bump in the road. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we saved 25 on that one. Plus 25. Okay. So for the month of April, I mean, May. We saved six hundred and seventy-three dollars on our savings challenges. So now we're gonna do a little bit of reallocation, oops, and a little bit of deductions. And I figured what I would do, and I kind of explain it as I go, is I had some extra expenses, which I thought I might. I mean, I obviously like budgeted, you know, some some money, but um, I ended up needing 
a little bit more and I left my deposit down for my tattoo. So I actually, actually, let me just do it now. Let's go ahead and start deducting while I'm talking about it. So I wrote myself a little sticky note so I wouldn't forget anything. But so we had 673. Okay, so we're going to take out. Wait, then what did I take this out for? Oh, but I don't remember what I took. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I wrote it right there. 52-week challenge. Took from Busted. Okay. So from my Busted savings, I took $90 out for, and I was explaining it in my 52-week challenge, and that's this one. Let me just show you real quick. So I did a quick video on this challenge, and I had forgotten to budget the normal money that I budget out of it from my cash, my daily spending that I take 500 out of my budget. And also this was an extra Friday in May. So I had to do an extra um, like 40 something dollars for that stuffing. So what I did is I just decided to reallocate and take it out of this money. So that $90 we're going to subtract because we do not have that money to put towards any sinking funds. So that left us at 583. So long story short, that was the long story. <laughs> okay. I did purchase my airline ticket to Fort Lauderdale and I do have the ticket money. Um, I do have the cash in my travel binder, but um, I'm going to leave that in there and just take it out of this money because I mean, sinking fund is a sinking fund. So I figure out, since I have the cash, I'll just deposit the cash back into my, um, I'm going to deposit some cash when we get through this list back into the bank to put on the credit card that I used to um, charge these couple of items. Okay. So this is the cash I'm going to use. That's why I'm subtracting it from the 673. So we're going to take away the $78 for that airline ticket. Now that was only the trip um, to Miami. Um, the trip back, I was looking at literally, you guys, I was looking at the ticket and I decided to do two one ways because it was cheaper to fly into Fort Lauderdale and we're getting in the shuttle with my friends that are the ones that are getting married on the cruise ship. So it was cheaper to fly there, get on their shuttle, and then just fly back directly from Miami back to um, Baltimore. So, but as I was looking at the tickets, I think only an hour had passed and I refreshed and the ticket price went up. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wait till Tuesday, which is today. And then I'm going to go back and look at it again because typically purchasing on Tuesdays, it's, that's like a travel hack or whatever supposedly it's going to be cheaper. So I'm going to go back in there and get my return flight. And this is for the cruise in August. Um, it leaves out of Miami and it's a five day wedding cruise. So that's that story. So I subtracted the um, $78 for that ticket. And uh, obviously I'll figure out what the next flight is going to be um, when I get done recording probably. All right. So now we're at 5.05. We got that one, that one. And then I had to renew my um, license plate tags, my Texas tags, and that was $78. So I'm going to take that out of here as well. So I figured I could take the, I have the money in my sinking funds and my high yield savings, but I was like, well, why would I take that cash out when I just have this cash right here that I've already saved and I can just put it back on the, on the card? Like it doesn't make sense to yeah, deduct from the high yield savings. I can just leave that money sitting there. Okay. So here's the big one is the 250 will actually end up being 260 um, for the tattoo balance. So minus 260, which has to go back on the card. Okay, and then I got a $30 t-shirt at Cedar Point. It's got Snoopy on it. It's really cute and it's a Cedar Point. I didn't know that Cedar Point was their, um, I mean Snoopy and Peanuts was their like mascot. Let's, let me do this math again. Five. Oops. Shoot. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to stop talking for a second because clearly I can't talk and do math. Minus 90. Minus 78. Oh, five. Minus another 78 is 427. Minus 260 is 167. Minus 30 should be 137. And then for extra food and then the tolls on the turnpike, you guys, 
I don't even know what the Ohio Turnpike cost me, but I know that the Pennsylvania one was like $19.40 because I looked at my Easy Pass statement and it would be it would be more expensive than that if I didn't have the Easy Pass. I'm like, dang. I can remember driving when I was stationed in Virginia. But this is back in the 90s, so. But when I was stationed in Virginia, I can remember driving home to Detroit and I swear the Turnpike was like $6. And it's the same roads. Uh, it's the same service plazas from way back then and they don't even have people that they have to pay in the toll booth so I'm like what the heck anyway I know it's inflation but I'm just complaining so just go with me <laughs> all right so we're going to subtract $60 so technically all I have left is $77 to stuff um and really this one's 65 so really all this cash well, okay, the $30 I was going to pull out of, I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about this challenge for um, All About That Pace in my self-care binder. I was going to get a t-shirt at the half marathon, but I missed the expo because I got there late and I was just going to pull the $30 out of here. But I think since I already have it over here and I already counted it out of this budget, I'll just keep, I'll just leave that money in my self-care binder for now. And um, that can just pay for my next uh, race entry fee, I guess, because I need to sign up for the next thing. But um, what else was I going to do? I think that was it. I did that. So really and truly, I don't have anything to stuff because um, since I, I mean, if I did minus 65, because this 65 is right here. I mean, at least with $12. So, I mean, I mean, I have $77, but I can't stuff this right now because I need it for my um, last two shorts. So I think, hmm, think, Andrew, think. I think I will just call it a day and take this money to the bank. And I'll probably end up going to the night machine and deposit it so that I can. But then I'm thinking maybe I'll just hang on to it because I'm getting ready to, well, not all of it, but like 400 of it, because I'm getting ready to do my next two week budget anyway. And I'll need to withdraw money. So I'm like, well, maybe I could just exchange that out. Or I could just wait and then use that money to transfer to the credit card. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Okay, guys, I had to go back and relook at the numbers and see which part of the money over here needed to go back to the bank exactly. And then which part I could reallocate. So I actually redid the numbers and what I did was I had already taken the 90 and put it into the 52 week challenge so that that cash has already been reallocated. So that's that $90. So I don't need to worry about putting that into the bank, but I do need to do 78 times two, which equals $156. So that needs to go back to the bank and then only 150 of the tattoo I put on the card so that needs to go back to the bank. Let me redo that. 78 times 2 equals 156 plus 150. Yes, 306. And then the t-shirt I did put on the card. So that needs to go back to the bank. And then the $60 for food and tolls, that needs to go back to the bank as well. So 396 needs to go back to the bank. So I'm going to do an even 400. So I had already counted this. So we know that of the fives, that was 150. But we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20. 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we've got 280, so minus equals 116, and I actually have 150. So I'm going to put, actually, I think I took some out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 5, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. Yeah, 120. I took some out over here. Well, anyway, thanks for listening to me think out loud. It's a scary place sometimes in my brain, but um, I'm happy to be back. Um, I hope that you all have had a good, um, like I said, a good Memorial Day and your week is starting off good so far. And this was my closeout. I saved $673 in savings challenge for the month of May. 
and I'm super excited about that. You guys, this thing is really working and I just never knew I could save money. So I appreciate everyone that's been encouraging me and I'm here to encourage you as well. So have a great rest of your um, night and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.